Yo, guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the Straight Talk podcast. What is happening, guys? Let's go. So, today we're back, finally. I'm in a I'm dressed nice for the occasion today. Oh, yes. Today. Oh, yes. So, um, what we got, bro? You know what? You know what well, there's just been a cage fighting match, haven't there? There has. Who's well, been fighting, bro? Uh, this is Sean Strickland. Uh, obviously, he just beat Adesanya. Well, not just, but he's got the, the belt. I'm not too sure what weight class he is. Middleweight, he said. Yeah. Um, he's fighting do. Plessis, never heard of him in my life. Is that with the champion? No, he's just, uh, he's, he wants the belt. So he's, oh, gonna, right. he's, he's challenging for the title. So, yeah, if you haven't seen in the recent press conference, Sean Strickland's had a few controversial words to say yep. about the LGBTQ community. And, you know, it, it speaks for itself, really. Everyone has a different reaction. Um, but once you see it, you'll realise. Some people will find it a bit grim because... Some people are part of that community and yeah. and stuff, but some well, people may agree. Also, as well, to be fair, Sean Strickland's got a problem with guys that wear jeans and hoodies and trainers. You know what I mean? Like you see him on some podcasts, he's like, Your guys <coughs> your guys are weak because you're wearing this and you're wearing uh, that. And I've seen him before. So if you were to insult my girlfriend, I would get up and I would have to, as a man, try to take your life. So there's this little things you do. You demand respect. And just the way, you see the way I'm talking to you? I'm talking this way because I don't respect you. But how can I respect you? It's not because you're small. I don't respect you because look at what you're fucking wearing. Look at your job. I don't respect you because you don't live in a way that fucking demands respect. I feel, yes, he is. What, what he's saying is up to him. And that's his opinion. But at the end of the day, it's not like he don't say that to ordinary guys as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This guy is a, an opinionated man, isn't he? Yeah. He's truly an opinionated man. And this is why he's getting big on YouTube and stuff like that, because he's saying what he wants to say. And, you know... He it brings the views. Yeah, he brings the views. It brings a controversial talk, uh, as we're doing now. And so like, I think, well, yeah, he might have said that, but also he said this about these guys that are on this podcast that are wearing these hoodies and stuff is what he probably would say about me. I'm a weak man of mm, our generation yeah. and sh shit like that. So sometimes you're like, well, who, care? who cares what you think? Because, you know, times move on and fashion moves on yes. and all that kind of crap. No one's wearing Oliver Twist clothes anymore. We're a top hat going down the chimney sweeping it. But it's his opinion. Yep. And this is the video we're about to show you. Yeah, obviously. <clears throat> obviously of him doing the report. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. It's going to get saucy. I did want to ask, you know, you're in Toronto. Welcome. Glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are uh, you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. You, I mean, you got to like fucking, uh, ah, yeah. Well, I did want to ask. You did know, you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. If, if, let me tell you something right now. If a man says he's not going to say, like if you ask him, oh, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say that's none of your business. He voted for fucking Biden. Sean, so, I'm, hey. Sean, I'm glad you've had great experiences. So, this is our, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. The enemy. The enemy of Canada. Sure. Sure, All right. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I... Oh, look, another... another. Yeah. These, I'm yeah. saying yeah. to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone... Let me ask you model. something. Are you have, are you, have, are you are gay? Have you had the chance no, to are, interact are, with a more diverse... Are you... Of, let me know. Are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking... I'm, this is a part of... Are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, would you fucking, when he sees the bank accounts, like, you're just fucking pathetic. And, and the fact that, the fact that you have no fucking backbone and, and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid shit like that? Go fuck yourself. Move the fuck on, man. Like that doesn't really coward. answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when, uh, when they know what, and they'll, we'll know what they stand for. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a, what, a mental fucking illness. And now all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your fucking bullshit you're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, 
you know, who they could fuck in school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is a fucking enemy. Uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there asking these stupid fucking questions. He did not hold back. He did not hold back, bro. He was fuming at this guy. Like, Savage. Bringing back old tweets and stuff. I can't. I'm not going to say I agree with it because, you know, it's obviously a bit mean some of the stuff he said. Some people, like I said, and we're, we're, not, gonna, we're not on here to do that, are we? We're not on here to offend anyone. No. No one's welcome. But we also, we are here on here to have an opinion as we do yes. on everything else and who's going to win in boxing and everything like to do with that kind of stuff. Yeah. We are going to have an opinion. And, you know, some people aren't going to like our opinion and some people are going to agree with it. Do I agree with Sean Strickland's opinion? I'm half and half. Yeah, I agree. I'm half and half. Yeah. Would I want my son, my sons to be gay? No. Not, not if I had the choice, but would it, would it, would I feel like it's crippled my legacy? I don't give a shit about legacy. I don't give a shit about how many sons I pass on and how many sons they pass on and, and, and how big this family gets after when I'm dead. I really don't give a shit about that. Like to me, realistically, we live in now. The future doesn't exist. Who knows what could happen in the future? And it's just it's my main focus to be an honourable man and, and the best man I can be to my kids right now. If my kids chose to be gay, I wouldn't choose that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't hate them and I wouldn't be mad at them either. I'd just respect the decision and, yeah. and that's that. So, But at the same time, this transgender stuff can get frustrating. Yeah, especially when it comes into schools and stuff, you know. Let kids just be kids, you know what I mean? They're, they're, you're not at an age where they should be choosing what gender they want to be. You know, you're born a man or a woman. And they It's infiltrating sports as well, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You could identify as a woman and go in women's changing rooms at gym. As I've seen personally before, like, you know, someone, a guy... Full a woman, man, by the way. A, a woman dressed as a man in the men's changing rooms, you know, when there's loads of bananas knocking around, swinging from trees. Crazy And it's stuff. like... We could actually do the same. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, there's, there's there's plenty of weirdos out there. I'm sure they're willing to dress up for as, uh, as a woman for a day just to see a, a bunch of boobs and yeah. some some wet lettuces. Do you know what I well, mean? Well, some there's some women just putting body paint on. So yeah, that's it. So I'm like, I, I, I'm I'm just like, you know what? Caught in he's, the middle. He's, he's going hard, Cardia. Caught in the middle. He's, got, he's definitely going a bit brutal. Definitely a couple of swearing. He's going swear hard, words in there. So, but this is what I mean. It's like. Like, you know what, bro? This is going to phase out. This transgender stuff will phase out. It's a fad at the moment, but you can bet your ass in 20 years' time, it's not going to be the same. Yeah. Right? It's not It's not going to be the same. There's not going to be loads of people coming out and coming out and coming out and coming out. It's like it'll probably calm down after after three or four years from now. The fad will get boring and the human beings will move on to something else or what they feel like they are or what they want to be or what they want to become. And there's not enough people... To even think that it could make a big difference to mm. to the human race of men, like you know, how many transgenders do you bump into? Not many. Not many. Even if it increases by five percent, it's like you're not going to still yeah, bump into gonna, men. Yeah, no. Not going to. The population ain't going to go down because there's guys wanting to be women or women wanting to be men. It's just that the mainstream media just pumps it through, and that's all you think that's going on in uh, world yeah. because we hear it through the main, the main lines, the main channels. Yeah. And it's everywhere. It's not only that. It's like LGBTQ everywhere. Flags, everything, trans stuff. It's, you know, I think they just need to calm down. Yeah. Do you think that they're pushing it a little bit too yeah, much? Yeah, that's it. It's, 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 everything. it's like with everything, really. It's all, at one point, it's always pushed a bit too far. Yeah. You know, because they're all like, come on, going on these riots and all this and that. You just don't need to go on any riots. You know, everyone knows about this, your, your communities. Some people don't like it. Some people don't agree. But that, you've got you to get over it. Yeah. Because not everyone's gonna like you or me or yeah. what we think, bro. What we believe in. Well, that's life. But you don't you don't want to go to shop and buy a bottle of water and see a LGBTQ no. flag on it and like it's like yeah, all right, we know gay pride. Like you know, we it's we don't celebrate straight pride, do oh, we? Yeah, just a straight flag. Yeah, however that would look. <laughs> we, a man with a fist on it or something yeah. like that. <laughs> no straight flags in England. No way. I've never seen a straight flag, bro. No, I don't think there is one. No, I don't know. <laughs> But there's LGBTQ flags everywhere. LGBTQ plus whatever. I don't know why they had the term, would you? I think it's, uh, it's going to probably get worse as well. 
Yeah, and I don't find on alphabet as, soon. I don't find other things that I just can't that like, made around business. Like, but, you're not, you're not. You're not on TV. Sean Strickland is, is clever because he knows what he's doing. He wants yeah. to build the traction for the fight. He's not stupid. He's going to speak what's on his mind and then some more. Um, he knows what he's doing and he's like, look, I know what's going to sell tickets. I know get, the, get the men's men on there. They're probably going to be throwing after the fight cans of bud instead or not even cans of bud, just a, a man drinking beer or whatever. I don't know. Whatever them you hars drink over there, man. Yeah, so make that what you will. Uh, Feel free to go back and watch it again. Yep. Just let us know what you think. Because, yeah, we'll give you our opinion, so let us know what yours is. Do you agree with Sean? Or no, I'll totally disagree. I know you're part of LGBTQ. I personally am part of LGBTQ. I support them. Uh, we, we've, you've got an auntie and a, I've got a sister that's part of LGBTQ. So, that's lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in this time. <laughs> All right, that is going in, and uh, so we support it, man. Like you know, I, I, I've I've got a game here. I don't support stuff. it, but I'm not against it. That's going in, and all your auntie's gonna come around and kick your ass. But Beth's gonna come around and kick your ass. Oh no! I'm... <laughs> I, I keep baiting them names up, don't I? I know he's done it. Oh, it was funny last time. It was very really funny. <laughs> so yeah, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Um. And yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next video.